So this project is part of a much larger project, which is uh, funded through the Office of Natural Resource Trustee and largely administered by U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. Within Grant County, there are several uh, treatment locations, and they're all designed to restore previously degraded rangeland and riparian systems. So the projects range from stock tank rehabilitation, designed to capture water more efficiently and provide water for not only livestock, but for uh, wildlife. There are many NGOs and federal agencies. We have Bat Conservation International, the Nature Conservancy. We're also working in close uh, collaboration with Grant County Soil and Water. Um, U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service has been involved, um, as well as the Forest Service. So there's probably 19 or 20 species of bats here in this county in New Mexico. And of course, they're extremely important to the environment and the economy. They eat enormous amount of night flying insect pest. But they also rely really heavily in the Southwest on riparian areas because these areas are really rich, as you can see, in vegetation diversity, and that means a lot of insects. Riparian means associated with water, and bats in the Southwest have to drink every night. So they're down in the riparian area to drink in ponds and slow moving water. Well, we knew to improve wildlife habitat that some of the shorebirds and the other birds that this was directed to also forage and use these ponds or pooled water. So it's kind of a nice marriage of wildlife needs. The same things that would help the birds would help the bats. There are three main areas that we're focusing on uh, within Grant County. The Upper Borough Cienega, the Pitchfork Ranch, and then along the Membrays there are multiple sites. There are several different projects that are aimed at stock tank rehabilitation, grade control structures, and sediment capture. And then here along the Membrays, uh, we are focusing on uh, riparian restoration and spring and wetland projects. One of the really nice things about this project is nearly all of the work is done on private lands. So uh, this is a wonderful opportunity where we get a chance to work with a variety of landowners that have varying objectives. Some of them, uh, their primary objective is livestock production, and some of them, they're more focused on providing habitat for wildlife. My husband, Brian, and I are, are landowners. Uh, we bought this 40 acres about six years ago and knew how special it was and decided that we were going to preserve it. But the main goal for us is having a, having a horse farm and we raise sheep, so we have, we have a, a large working farm that somehow we wanted to make a difference in just the way that uh, livestock is handled on uh, you know, rangeland and especially in riparian areas. So we decided to create our facility around the endangered species and the riparian area. So part of our project was to come in and try and restore some of these pools. Uh, and this pool behind us was not even here. This is a high water table area and we came in and constructed this pool and in just over a year we have this beautiful natural pool and now bats when they need water can come down and drink at this pool because it's out in the open and the Chiricahua leopard frogs have already moved into the pool and it's a great example of private landowners working with uh, the county and the federal government to restore wildlife habitat and everybody wins. The treatment sites that we're working on in the membranes are very unique from the standpoint that they were directly impacted by the Silver Fire. It uh, consumed over 100,000 acres. There was tremendous amounts of uh, erosion in the form of both silt and ash. An aspect of this project that's really important that directly feeds into the mission that we have at New Mexico State University is the student engagement. Not only are we able to involve students from a research standpoint, but we also are able to bring undergraduate students where they uh, can get hands-on experience, especially working with threatened species. The students were great. They came out and, and worked really hard and dug these um, very large areas that we couldn't get big machinery in because it was just too fragile. And, and one of the reasons why we couldn't get big machinery in was because we had the endangered Chiricahua leopard frog that was there uh, that we had to protect. So it was a perfect opportunity for the students to learn a lot and to assist as well as for us to get the work done that we needed to get done that we had to hand dig. Eye on Research is a production of New Mexico State University.